This is a lesson on using decimals to relate units of measure. The units of measure that we are relating are meters, centimeters, and millimeters. It says units of measure can be related to decimals. Use the chart to the right to help you to convert between meters, centimeters, and millimeters. So the chart to the right tells you that uh, meters are the biggest, centimeters are in the middle, and millimeters are the smallest. Now you should already know that, but there's mathematical ways to convert between these, and sometimes the numbers will turn into decimals. So when you start with a meter, you'll probably al almost never uh, end up with a decimal when converting because when you're converting from meters to centimeters, you're going to multiply your meter number by 100. So basically you put two zeros onto the end of the number. And when you want to convert from meter or centimeters to millimeters, then you multiply by 10. So you put uh, one zero to the end of your starting number. Okay, so if, if I had six meters and I wanted to convert that to centimeters, it would turn into 600 centimeters. Okay, if I had 600 centimeters and I wanted to know how many millimeters that would be, put one more zero on the 600 and it would turn into 6,000. Now you could skip the two steps if you're going from meters to millimeters. And um, instead of timesing by 100, then 10, you could just times by a thousand. I get the a thousand because if we multiply uh, 10 by a hundred here, then that we end up with a number with three zeros and three zeros is a thousand. Okay, so multiply by a thousand or multiply by a hundred to get from meters to centimeters, by 10 to get from centimeters to millimeters and by a thousand to get from meters to millimeters. Now we want to go backwards the other way. Starting at meters, if I want to go from meters to centimeters, I'm going to divide my number by 10. So that means I'm going to move my decimal one place to the left. And so if I have uh, 6 millimeters and I want to go to centimeters, I'm going to divide 6 divided by 10. I'm going to end up with 0 decimal uh, six centimeters. I want to convert uh, centimeters to millimeters, so let's um, start it with uh, seven centimeters this time. And we divide it by a hundred, so however many zeros there are in what we're dividing, that's how many times we move the decimal to the um, left. So if I have seven, the decimal is right after the seven, so I would convert, I would jump one, two spaces. I'd end up with 0 decimal 0 0.07 um, meters. Okay, same thing as up above with the red in the blue. Um, to get from millimeters to meters, you can divide by a thousand. So move that decimal three places to the left. Okay, we'll see that in an example below. Um, there's also this chart here. So you can see that one meter, so think of a meter stick. Um, has a thousand millimeters in it and a hundred centimeters. So it's a meter stick has a thousand millimeters on the stick and a hundred centimeters on the stick. Now thinking of one centimeter, which is a lot smaller, so thinking of your ruler and just that one part of the ruler that is a centimeter, that is equal to 10 millimeters and it's also equal to 0 0.01 meters. Okay, so it's a one hundredth of, of a piece of a meter stick. And then if we go to one millimeter, which is really tiny, that would be zero decimal one centimeter. So a tenth um, a millimeter is a tenth of a centimeter. And uh, it is a uh, one hundredth of a meter, so zero decimal zero zero one meters would be one millimeter. Okay, so let's do this example. Okay, so here's the example. It says 
This hummingbird's length can be described in three different ways, in centimeters, millimeters, and meters. What we need to do is figure out what those centimeters, millimeters, and meters are. So this is a scaled down, but here's a picture of a hummingbird. Here's a ruler below, and it shows um, seven here. Now, it tells you what the units are, and you should be able to tell because you've seen a ruler before, but this is in centimeters, these numbers. So the dot ends at the seven, so centimeters is easy here. We've got seven centimeters. Okay, don't forget the units in this. If you just write seven, I'm going to mark it wrong. Okay, now millimeters. We need to now go from centimeters to millimeters. So let's go look at our chart, and you need to keep this out while you're doing your assignment. So I want to go from centimeters to millimeters. So I follow the arrow. It means I have to multiply by 10. Okay, so oops, uh, millimeters is going to be, uh, it's going to be, I'm just going to put this in brackets to show this is how we did it. 7 centimeters, and we have to times by 10. Okay. And so 7 times 10 is 70, so that would be 70 centimeters. Okay, same thing. I'm going to take my 7 centimeters. And I have to figure out how to get from centimeters to meters now. So centimeters to meters, follow the arrow. That's divide by 100. So this time we'll divide by 100. So that means I'm moving the decimal. I'm just going to drop something down here. So 7 centimeters is the same as 7 decimal, and there's zeros after here. So to divide by 100, there's two zeros here, so I'm going to move the decimal two place values. So it's going to go here. That's one place value. We're going to imagine there's a zero in the tens place because it needs to move jump past there one more time. So that means it's going to end up here. We're going to end up with 0 decimal 0, 07. We forget we can forget about that zero right there. So 0 decimal 0, 07 meters. Okay, that's how I would do that. Remember two uh, zeros here, so one, two place values jumping and the decimal ends up. All you're doing is either adding zeros or moving the decimal. Okay? So that's how you would do that. Now we've got to practice. We're going to do the first one together because it's going from meters to millimeters. You're going to do the other three by yourself and then you're going to watch to make sure you did it right. So we need to change two meters to millimeters. So I have two meters and that equals a certain amount of millimeters. Now remember to get from 2 millimeters to meters, two mil so we've got millimeters to meters, so we're going in the blue way, we're going back up. We could divide by 10 and then by 100, or we can divide by just 1,000, those three zeros, okay, we're going to do that. So 2, oh sorry, I did that wrong. You also have to make sure you watch, okay? So I was thinking we had to go from millimeters to meters, but we already know the meters, so we have to go from meters to millimeters. So we're going to go the red way, in fact. We're going to go this way, so times by a 1,000, right? 100 times 10 is a 1,000. So 2 times a 1,000. So that means I'm going to put 1, 2, 3 zeros at the end of the 2. So my answer is 2,000 millimeters, is 2 meters. Okay, so using that chart, do 2, 3, and 4. Pause the video and play again once you've finished. Okay, so now that you've finished, um, let's do the first one together. So we start with 12 millimeters, and we need to go to centimeters. So here we will do 
dividing. So we've got millimeters to centimeters. That means we need to divide by 10. So that means 12 divided by 10. Okay, there are, are uh, there's one zero in 10, so that means we move the decimal one space. Remember, it's right after the 12. If you don't see it, it's just at the end of the number. We're going to move it one place value in between the 1 and the 2. So it's 1 decimal 2 centimeters. Okay, next one, we need to go 23 millimeters to meters. So this is what I got confused on. I thought I was doing this question up here, but I wasn't. So we need to go 23 and we're going to divide by a thousand this time because we're going from small to big. Small to big is always divide, big to small is always multiply. So that means that I need to move the decimal place one, two, three times. So if I have 23, and I imagine my decimals right here, <clears throat> I'm going to go one here, two, and three. So this this blank is going to be a zero, the decimal ends up here. So I put zero, decimal, zero, two, three. And that's how I do that one. <clears throat> Lastly, we've got uh, 23 centimeters, um, and that equals how many meters? Okay, so I'm going from small to big. So remember, small to big is uh, dividing. So centimeters to meters is dividing by 100. Okay, centimeters to meters is dividing by 100. So 23 divided by 100. So that means I'm moving the decimal. Every time I divide, I'm moving the decimal. So look at 23. Decimal goes right after it. And we move it two times. One, two. So it ends up in front of the uh, in front of the two. Zero decimal two three. Okay, so that's that's how we do that. We're either adding zeros or moving decimals. We're always looking at how many zeros and then they affect the original numbers. Okay, your assignment is page 192 to 193, number 1 to 3, 5, 6, 8, and 9.